Right, Vicky? Okay, off we go. And I was a newspaper seller um, on the streets of Berlin, basically, East Berlin. I went to Iceland and I got a job on a fish farm. But unfortunately, the fish catch was down. So the guy who ran the fish farm also ran a mink farm. So I went to work on his mink farm. I was a credit analyst for a bank. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> I was a salmon fisherman on the River Tay and I nearly drowned. I worked at a place called Pizza Hut. <laughs> My best job was working in an advertising agency as a trainee copywriter. I can't really say which agency because I didn't leave in very good circumstances. <laughs> I actually was an opera singer and ran a small opera group in New York and worked in media before that to pay the bills. One of the jobs I did was to help to build the M1. I was a consultant with a company which created educational CDs to supplement course material in schools. I worked with a physically disabled man assisting him in setting up an ombudsman. I worked for museums and I organized uh, exhibitions. And one was on Odal, the mouthwash. So we did kind of the history of kissing. Around the end of the 70s and early 80s, I played bass guitar in a punk rock band called Dislocation Dance. We did do a tour of the States and we did play Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a street performer and after that I developed into a performer performer. Uh, what sort of skills did you have as a street performer? Uh, patience. I had to wait a very long time for people to come and look at me. Um, well, my best job in my entire life was being a hostess on board a yacht. That teaches you a whole level of sort of classroom dynamics, making everybody laugh. <laughs> uh, I used to do interpreting in London. I was interpreter at trade fairs and there I learned a lot about business. I was a painter and I did abstract contemporary painting and still actually do do that kind of stuff as well. Okay. I was working as an architect assistant because I was planning to become an architect. Actually, I became an architect, but I also took my teacher training course. Um, I was an actress in Singapore before I became a teacher. <laughs> I was an international conference interpreter, all set to travel around the world and have a thoroughly jet-setting life. I had a lovely summer job at an international cricket ground, the Oval in London. I sat inside the score box and watched the game all day and put up the scores. Um, I worked for the Halifax Building Society. I was a music teacher in a children's music theatre. Okay, so I was a translator. I used to be a squash professional based in the UK. I was the assistant to national coach. I organize tours for bands. I've been a roadie. I've driven for bands on tour. Um, I had uh, a year where I worked for the rock group Queen uh, doing their spotlights. I was working in a sheet metal workshop. I was responsible for purchasing and I was also in charge because it was a small company of dispatch. So these, so coming in and going out, so that was my job. And then I was a mum for six years and... <laughs> I was a secretary PA. I was a tea lady at the BP headquarters in London. I worked in a racetrack selling fish and chips. My dad was friends with the woman who ran the Duke of Marlborough's stables. <laughs> I actually got a job working in those stables. I wasn't even really into horses and couldn't ride. Okay, so I worked in a, um, in a leather workshop in the city of London and it was like working in something out of a Dickens novel. I, I also worked on the side uh, at a car wash. I was the cashier. I didn't wash the cars. I was on a series called Triple Nine, which is a police sort of cop drama like NYPD Blue for about three years. Um, I was playing one of the lead police officers. <laughs> But I did also, uh, I learned to juggle, so I was a little bit of a juggler. At one point in his career, Eddie Izzard shared the same pavement as me. <laughs> I just remembered I never got paid, actually. So the, the Duke of Marlborough, I think, owes me a month's salary. <laughs> That's it! That's it! That's it!